What is it with this mountain lion that comes straight to a man's doorstep and stand in there? It is reasonable to assume that X. Animals like mountain lions usually live in the deepest forests, they rarely approach human territory of their own accord let alone block the doorway so blatantly. What's really going on? I ask there a secret between this mountain lion and this man that no one knows about? Let's have a look below. I in the wild. Animals are often in danger. Even the fierce predators. Because of the expansion of the human sphere of activity, more and more animals are forced to be influenced by humans in their daily lives. And since animals do not have the dexterity of human fingers or the intelligence of human brains, they are hardly able to save themselves from danger. And most of them are injured. Or even die as a result. Looked out a man abroad was out exploring. When he spotted a mountain lion with its front feet caught in a trap. A mountain lion was trapped by a poacher's trap. In the wild bush on its way to feed point one of its forepaws was caught in a trap hidden in the bush. But it was unable to free itself from the trap. It had to stay helplessly where it was, with a look of helplessness and despair in its eyes. The kind-hearted man saw the poor mountain lion da, and was determined to risk his life to save him. The man with the tools da, and the courage to risk his life slowly approaches the mountain lion da, and tries to save it. The mountain lion looked uncomfortable. At the sight of the strange human approaching, Dot and kept hissing and struggling, the man was quick to put the muzzle around the mountain lion's neck, Dot, which made it even more frantic, Dot jumping up and down with all its might. The scene was chaotic for a while, luckily. After a lot of trouble the man finally subdued the mountain lion, the mountain lion was held down by the man Dot, and couldn't move, could only breathe heavily. After seeing the mountain lion calm down, the man carefully knelt down and tried to untangle the trap with one hand. Apparently one hand didn't work at all. Dot, and the trap won't budge. Dot, so, dot, surprisingly, the man bravely squatted down, with his tools just loosely under his armpits. He broke the trap with both hands and freed the mountain lion. This was just too brave. We all know that. The consequences of the mountain lion lunging at the man in a fit of rage dot, would be too ghastly to contemplate. The mountain lion did not leave immediately. Dot, after regaining its freedom, dot, but stayed where it was and looked deeply at the man. It seemed to express its gratitude before leaving, but to everyone's surprise, dot, the mountain lion has reappeared after many years. Not only did it not forget the kind man, dot, but he even followed his scent to his home to visit him. Which led to the scene in the opening credits where the mountain lion blocks the doorway. I have to say, the reason behind this is a bit touching. Although lions are big cats, that bloodthirsty and cruel, that they can be very gentle and loyal. To their benefactors who have saved their lives, I in the following story. A lynx, also of the big cat family, that also puts its complete trust in its benefactor. It would even show its trust to people around its benefactor. I in California. Dot a forest fire broke out suddenly. After people came to help put out the fire, dot a lynx came out of the charred forest that covered in black. It survived the forest disaster with great difficulty, dot, but its condition was not good. It walked with a limp, its fur was burnt by the fire, dot, and it had difficulty breathing. This wild lynx was holding on to its last ounce of will and was asking for help from passersby. But people were a bit frightened to see such a fierce animal dot, and didn't understand why it would want to approach humans, mistakenly thinking that the lynx wanted to attack them. And just watched from afar, just then dot an experienced animal rescuer named George Klaus stopped by. He noticed that the lynx was asking for help from humans, which was something he had never encountered before. I in order to live up to the lynx's trust in humans. He immediately took the lynx back to the rescue station for treatment. The lynx was reasonably rescued in time by George Klaus. Mr. George Klaus carefully treated the injuries on the wild lynx and bandaged them carefully. He also kindly prepared clean water and food for the waking lynx to recharge. Mr. George Klaus took care of the lynx until it recovered and then released it. George Klaus looked at the lynx's fading figure and could not help but tear up a little. After all, they've lived together for so long that they've developed a deep bond. 
but disregarding the wishes of animals is not something Mr. George Klaus agrees with either. Although he was reluctant, he released the lynx. He thought this was the last time he would see the lynx, but to his surprise, after many years. Mr. George Klaus would see the lynx again on this day. George Klaus' son was playing outside the house. A lynx had crept up near his house and was no more than five meters away from his son. George Klaus was terrified. He rushed out of the house, but didn't dare to do anything rash. He was afraid that the lynx would be irritated by his rash move. George Klaus thought the fierce beast that had crept up on him would attack his child. He didn't expect that the lynx had no intention of attacking his son, but instead, as it stepped closer to George Klaus S.O.N., I.T. stuck out its tongue and gently licked the boy's hand to show its submission. The young boy was also amused by the lynx's behavior and started to play with it. The lynx did not hurt the boy either, but kissed and hugged him tenderly. It rubbed its cheek against the young boy, expressing its closeness to him. Just then, it dawned on Mr. George Klaus. He saw the distinctive scar on the lynx. Wasn't this the same lynx that he had rescued and released? Mr. George Klaus could not believe his eyes. He also came to the child and the lynx excitedly, wanting to confirm his suspicions. Instead of fleeing, when the lynx saw him approaching, IT approached George Klaus to show its affection. George Klaus was thrilled to see the animal he had released, his former companion. Again in his lifetime, IT was a touching sight to see two old friends X. Reunited after so many years, emotional expression can cross species. Dogs are not the only ones who are loyal to their owners. Many animals can have a deep affection for humans. Wild animals can also develop a deep trusting relationship with humans like the lion and lynx in these two stories. If humans are friendly to them, they will be friendly to humans too. They will even not love and care for human offspring. We humans should not betray the trust of these animals and do what we can to protect them and the environment in which they live. All animals have families and companions. Only by taking care of the environment can we take care of these wonderful creatures. Such touching emotions and unbreakable bonds exist between humans and animals too. We believe that when we are kind to them, they will be kind to us. Perhaps this is the most sincere relationship between humans and animals. Hope all people and animals in the world can live happily together.